Hello and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this Tech Tip we will discuss how to measure the heat of the solution of potassium chloride in the 100 ml precision solution calorimeter, also known as SOCAL. The solution of potassium chloride is a test reaction recommended by IUPAC and NIST for solution calorimetry. This reaction is conducted at 25 degrees Celsius. Start by preparing the SOCAL with exactly 100 ml water and about 400 mg of pure and dry potassium chloride. Start to stir in the TAM assistant SOCAL device. A recommended stirring rate is 500 rpm. Start an experiment by clicking on the new experiment button and then choose a SOCAL break experiment. Click your way through the wizard. Set the calibration heat to 120 joules and a break time to 5 minutes. Sample information can be inserted now or later. When you come to the screen, prepare the SOCAL. The SOCAL temperature offset should be adjusted as necessary. Watch the temperature offset in the software. A typical SOCAL experiment is conducted in a temperature offset range of plus minus 200 millikelvin from the thermostat temperature. Heat or cool the SOCAL to a temperature offset between minus 400 and minus 300 millikelvin. Heating can be done with your hands or a hair dryer. Cooling can be done with acetone or a cooling spray. Make sure to move the spray over the surface to avoid the cracking of the glass. When the temperature is in a suitable temperature range, lower the SOCAL into the TAM thermostat. It is now possible to fine tune the SOCAL offset temperature by using the heater. Turn the heater on at 500 milliwatt and to a temperature to minus 250 millikelvin. If this is a SOCAL version when you can choose between high and low resolution, the high resolution range should be chosen when the heater has stopped. The SOCAL is now ready to start the experiment. Proceed the wizard to the pause section. It is now possible to adjust the temperature once more by starting the heater. The recommendation is to heat with a power of 100 mW to a temperature offset to minus 220 mK. After this, leave the SOCAL to equilibrate. It takes about 20 to 40 minutes. Watch the fit status. The experiment should not be started until the exponential fit shows a standard deviation of less than 10 microkelvin and a decaying shape. It is recommended to always start the experiment at the same temperature offset, for example at minus 190 millikelvin. It can be set to automatically proceed the baseline when the signal reaches the set value. The software now proceeds the experiment until prompted to break the ampule. Break the ampule by pushing down the ampule holder on the SOCAL. The experiment now proceeds automatically with another calibration and will end after a final baseline. Click Finish to create a results file. In this tech tip, we discussed how to measure the heat of the solution of potassium chloride in the SOCAL. Please stay tuned for more helpful tips from TA Instruments and thank you for your interest.